The new Apple Vision Pro update brings FaceTime face to face with the spatial persona. This is the new experience w h i l l change the way how we communicate from 3D screen into the 3D world. Let's explore what is spatial persona. How do they work with the viewpoint of the UX UI design? You are with Tapu Wong Hart, and here is Manifest XR Channel. Today, we would like to talk about face-to-face -face spatial persona on Apple Vision Pro. So, spatial persona, what is it exactly? It is the realistic 3D avatar that represent the person for various communication. For example, like FaceTime call, Zoom meeting, or share play movie. This avatar represent you while you wearing the Apple Vision Pro because the headset is covered on your face. So people would need the 3D avatar to represent themselves while they are having the video call. So this persona allows the user to see each other face to face expression. Gesture, body language, including blinking, head tilting, hand movement, and even tongue sticking out. The audio spatial also based on the avatar location in the room. So all little details create such an immersive experience inside that makes you believe that the person who you're talking in the three D world is there with you in the same room. That's amazing. The work by placing the 3D avatar on the same plane. So if you're sharing the screen or you're sharing the app, the system will automatically arrange the spatial persona and share the app that suit the experience. For example, like the persona conversation, the system will arrange people into the group up to five people by sharing, dividing the space equally. And there are some template for the UX UI designer to consider how would they put the people into the spatial space. First one is a side by side template. Is this is suitable for activity where everyone needs to see the content from the same perspective. The persona are arranging the curve facing the app. For example, watching TV show or watching movie together that focus on the content right in front. The conversational template is the second one. is suitable for activity that focus on the conversation. Persona are arranging semicircle that encourage people to speak more. You would be able to see the face, and you have the application window on the side along the circle group conversation. And the third one is a surrounding template that suitable for activity. With 3D model put into the center of the conversation group, this will encourage people to see the different perspective of the model or have the 3D interaction with the model in the center. The developer needs to design this in the app so the system can choose the correct layout that suit the best for the application. UX designer also need to think about where to put the call to action button, how to navigate through between the scene. What is the best way to put the layout that would match the use case objective? Vision OS also includes a feature called Group Session Messenger to synchronize the 2D and the 3D screen objects movement on all the Apple Vision Pro participants. Once the person drawing or tilting something on the screen, the Apple Vision Pro will synchronize the viewpoint. So everyone will see on the same page. That include also the spatial coordinate system for a participant to connect. For example, if you see your friends floating in the air and one on the left side of the room, they can literally walk to the right side, and you will see the avatar walking in that space. Also, when you're walking around your space, your position coordinate will synchronize with your friend's room too. So. The Vision OS will take care of all of this arrangement for us. This will allow the application designer and developer to focus on their content while they are developing the ideas. We can also set the individual persona perspective. For example, like a full immersive VR experience, this which will support the virtual reality content. Spatial persona will dramatically change the way we communicate and collaborate. 
This reminds me of the 3D sci-fi movie where everyone used Avatar to meet and interact. It connects everyone in the way that goes beyond a regular video call. Conversation are more natural and gesture and body language can be used to express ourselves. Another interesting for the use case for the spatial persona would be the free form application. See, it is a digital whiteboard for brainstorming and gathering ideas. User can use the pencil or pen and to draw some idea on the board and use the share pay that enable all the participants to join the board. The system will arrange the participant persona in the same plane and allow everyone to write, erase, and drag the text on the share whiteboard. This like putting everyone in the same room and have the meeting room at the same time, writing the ideas together. This interaction kind of help them enable to express their opinion naturally. Importantly, Developer need to plan the UX and the design, the user interface to match the user behavior and the spatial persona too. For example, user should be able to allow to use the different editing tools, editing mode, even though they seems to looking at the same application window. Meeting leader use the red highlight to draw on the whiteboard. But that doesn't mean this data will synchronize to all other headset of the participant. Everyone should be able to use their own tools or their own preference color. And developer needs to define which viewpoint you share. For example, like the canvas would be the viewpoint that everyone would be able to see the same thing. That's the share context for all the participant. Additionally, each person can allow to open the private window. It is very similar when they use their tablet or their phone during the meeting room, right? That's the whiteboard in the center. People maintain the shared context with everyone and then they use the private window to prepare their work or draw something on their canvas. Then they can drag from private window to the shared space too. Yes. This spatial persona will revolutionize the way we communicate through Apple Vision Pro. It creates a sense of engagement that allows everyone to have the natural and expressive interaction. With this, we will allow to share the experience more immersive and meaningful than ever. Well, developer needs to design UX and UI designer need to think about the deeper dimension. It's no longer about the X and Y C's anymore. It's about how to consider the body language, the body interaction, the object movement into the virtual. The developer will need to design together with the UX UI designer to dig deep into the deeper dimension to consider not just the X and Y's for the axis but more about like consider the body and how the object 3d movement in the virtual space to provide the best user experience i understand everyone will say oh the apple vision pro is too heavy it's expensive it's bulky and you're right that's correct but you have to think like this in the past we used to have the computer the same side of the microwave it's a giant computer that right now the computer is getting more smaller smaller and smaller and right now it's even like foldable it's amazing right and same thing will happen to the smart glasses too it will getting smaller and it will get in the better technology until it almost the same size as the regular glasses many people would say it will take a long time to get there Although I believe that in the next few years, the technology for the AR VR will be significant development along the fast growth in the supporting application. The future of the virtual world is even more exciting with this next step. So if you have any question or additional ideas about the spatial persona, shout out to me in the comment section. And I would be more happy to discuss and exchange the idea and information for the updates. As always, please like, subscribe, sharing. This is very much appreciated. Thank you for your supporting. See you on the next video.